Hi, I'm Val Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good day. I want to thank you for being here on Friday on the Val Beebe Show. You know I love Friday, so I find the best guests. And Friday is the perfect day to listen to Stephanie Ruiz. She's a re regional communications lead for Latina America for Airbnb. Stephanie, welcome to the Val Beebe Show. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Well, I'm so excited to talk about uh, uh, your script. Your script said women hosts for Airbnb have earned $600 million since last March. That's the beginning of the pandemic. Tell me about that. Yeah, so um, the Airbnb community is and actually always has been powered by women. In fact, 55% of our hosts globally, so a little bit more than 2 million, are women and women have turned to Airbnb time and time again to provide for their families and in some cases have turned hosting into a full-blown career. Now all of that in the context of what the pandemic has meant for women, it's no secret women have been hit the hardest having to make really tough decisions this past year for the livelihood of their of themselves, of their families. And so we're seeing women again turning to Airbnb as this financial lifeline that is enabling them to provide for their families, have the flexibility that is so important for women. Um, and just to give you an idea, new women hosts that have been at, that have taken on hosting since last March have earned $600 million. And that's something that we think is pretty remarkable. You're so right in everything that you're saying, because according to the statistics, you know, women in the workplace have been set back a decade due to the complexities of the coronavirus, meaning they've left the workforce. So what, what is the benefit, of, other than the $600 million, but what benefits do we get from being a host on Airbnb at this time? Yeah, so that's that's a great question. There's so many different benefits and, and reasons why women, I think, are, are becoming hosts. I think, for one, women just have a natural understanding of what it takes to be a host. We're hosting our families, we're hosting in our communities, we're hosting in our social circles, and so it's something that I think women really understand. And at the same time, it also boils down to finances, right? It's a, it's a way of earning the supplemental income from a space that you might have and using that to help pay down debt, to have a flexible work-life um, schedule that is so key for women to succeed. And so um, we're seeing that a lot. And just to give you an idea, in the US, a typical new host um, has earned upwards of $3,900, which is almost twice as much as what one would expect from a stimulus check to date. So um, pretty, pretty good opportunity to take advantage of. Okay, I, and I need to make a correction. You're the regional communication lead for Latin America Airbnb. Tell me, uh, what kind of online experiences are women have? Because this is virtual that women are coming to the Airbnb family. Yes, that's an actually, um, so that's another part of the equation. So on one hand, you know, obviously we have the homes that um, folks can, can list, but then we've also seen women take on um, hosting their online experiences. So this is basically women sharing their passion um, and their expertise with, honestly, with guests from all over the world. We've seen tons of cooking experiences. Um, I personally have done all kinds of great uh, workshops with women hosts all over the world, learning how to make pasta with an Italian grandma in Italy, to learning how to make cocktails with a Brazilian um, host in, in Rio. And so this is another way that um, women, if you know, perhaps the homes is not your thing, that you would potentially want to become an online experience host and earn additional income that way as well. With the uh, travel restrictions being starting to lift, such as the state of Texas, uh, they've list listed the COVID-19 experience, no mask, no social distancing, or whatever that we're supposed to be doing. How has that affected women playing the game of the Airbnb? Yeah, so I think, you know, um, it's a great opportunity to, to leverage. Um, we see this pent up travel demand coming up. Um, you know, uh, it's the thing that people miss the most, right? People really miss traveling. And so we, um, we did a survey not so long ago of US consumers and we see um, that people are just eager to travel. And in fact, more than half have already uh, say that they're planning to travel in 2021. 
Um, all of that to say that travel really has changed, right? So we're seeing this shift from a kind of like more mass travel approach to um, more of what we're calling meaningful travel. So people looking to reconnect with loved ones, um, reconnect with nature, reconnect with themselves, take a kind of a, a step aside from the day-to-day -day, um, routine of, of what COVID has done to all of us. And so all of that to say that if you're interested in hosting, now is a perfect time to really leverage that opportunity and take advantage of this pent up travel that we see, um, you know, hopefully unleashed over the next few months and into next year. I see my uh, audience, uh, which is also a part of social media, and they want to know how do they get started? Because obviously there's a need, Stephanie. Oh, absolutely. And so I encourage um, anyone who's interested in uh, becoming a host or learning more about hosting to check out airbnb.com slash host. And we've got great information there set up for you and make it easy for you to become a host. Stephanie Ruiz, this is really great information, great news. I pride myself on bringing relevant information to my audience, and you have made my relevance list for Friday. So thanks for being here on the Valder BB Show. Really appreciate it. Oh, great. Thank you so much for having me, and have a great weekend. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television, and this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.